welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be uh, working on um, the engine bay. I'm going to be painting, I'm going to be uh, prepping the engine or the bay, uh, clean it up, uh, start masking everything off, and um, start painting it. So, I'm going to be painting it the original colour green, um, or splash green, I think it's called. Before I start messing with the engine bay, I'm going to actually be putting some doing some cavity wax inside all the sills and everywhere uh, just to protect it. What I'm going to do here, got this gun. So we got the cavity wax, we got this wand and it has a, a nozzle. Nozzle 360 nozzle so we can put it in into um, the actual rails. So you can put it in the rails so we got a spot here we can spray in. Spray in, spray in here, and then we can get it all the way into the actual rails itself, like this. Push all the way in, way in and cavity wax all inside, and that should um, protect the inside, stop water sitting on places, be a protective for longer. We'll do the same for the rear. So there's a lot of spots in here we can do. So we got in here, we can go here, um, all these holes, we're just going to try and uh, spray some in just to help protect it a little bit more. Just finished cavity waxing it, everything is all undone, uh, done the rear and just all the holes and it's all pretty much done, sorted now. So I'm going to move on to the engine bay, I'm going to have to get this prepped, so I'm just going to start cleaning because it's uh, pretty dusty, cleaned up and then I'm going to start masking all these pieces off, I'm not going to be bothered uh, taking everything out to com spray the bay because I'm only really worried about uh, these rusted bits, um, that up there is fine, that will look nice once it's uh, cleaned up. Uh, so I'm just going to move all the wires out of the way, start um, clean, clean it down and then start masking everything off and then we can start painting. <laughs> Everything's masked off, well enough, enough for his mask anyway for the primer, I'll probably do a bit more once I start using the spray gun, but for the primer I'm using a can so it's not going to be as messy, so I'll, this should be fine for now. And I will probably also uh, mask off this at some point and uh, spray this, it looks a bit messy at the minute, uh, but everything's cleaned up, uh, masked. I'm just going to head and spray on primer where it needs to be sprayed. Beverage so ball primer, uh, it's looking pretty good and nice and clean. Uh, sprayed everything down, it's all dry. Uh, there is, just before I start painting, uh, or just, just before I start putting the green paint on, uh, there's a few bolts here that um, that snapped. So I'm just gonna uh, grind it down and then drill it out and then re-thread. So we got one there, one here as well, and then another up here. And there might be another one somewhere else. Um, uh, but no, yeah, that's probably it. So I'm just gonna uh, grind it down so it's flat, uh, drill it out, and then re-thread it and then we should be good to move on to uh, painting this whole engine bay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up the paint. Uh, I've got some uh, the matching green paint to go with this. Um, so we're gonna mix it up and then just start spraying the base coat, which is the green. And then, once that's done, we can then move on to the clear. As you can 
see. Nice, uh, nice colour. It is. Uh, this is the pin code. 25R. Splash Green Mazda. Right, so uh, base coat is all done. It's looking pretty good. Got it all sprayed. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I didn't go to. Uh, I didn't care about it being. Um, I didn't smooth it too much. I just got rid of all the rust spots and uh, didn't bother smoothing it because uh, it's not really necessary. So uh, this is all uh, dry now, and I'm going to move ahead on to clear coat. So I'm going to be using a 2K clear. So that's. I'm just going to go ahead, mix up the paint for the 2K clear, and then just start spraying it. And then we should be pretty much finished with the engine bay part. Right, so the engine bay is complete. Uh, it's fully dry now, I'll just let it dry for the day. But um, yeah, it came out pretty nicely. I wasn't too worried about it being really smooth, just from where the rust had been eaten into it. But I had uh, removed all the rust and uh, I just treated it and I just sprayed over it. So I'm not too worried about the bumps making it smooth because well, it's gonna get worn out anyway because it's gonna be driven a lot. So that's pretty much the engine base sword. Gonna move on to the painting the sills next, which are um, which we repaired, repaired in a different video. If you want to see the video, uh, uh, you can. I'll leave a link. But you can see I've put some. It's uh, got some black stone, stone, stone chip on it, um, and we want to paint that because we want it to match the original paint. We're gonna do the two sills, this side and the other side. And we're also going to, it's a bit dark over here, but we're gonna be painting here too, uh, to match the, so the black doesn't, so, it is, uh, so it's nice and color coded. So the color is gonna be green as well, it's not gonna stay black. But for the sills, what I'm gonna be doing is first painting primer on them, so the color, because it's easier to lay on the green, so it matches uh, perfectly. But for the back, I'm not going to bother putting primer on because you're not really going to see it. So the colour doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll just, as long as it's green, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Right, so both sides are masked off now. Um, it's all masked, 
So I'm going to start with just priming the black here and then uh, once they're both primed and it's dried I can move ahead onto base coat and then onto clear. Just finished priming, the primer is now dry, so I'm just going to get the mix up the base coat, same as I did for the engine bay, and just before I do that, I'm just going to just mask off this area here, so because I'm going to paint, be painting this rear section, so it matches the original colour rather than black, just to make it look more factory. <laughs> Basically went on nicely so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, while well, I've let it dry for about an hour um, so I'm just going to go ahead mix up the clear coat and just start spraying it everywhere and then that should be pretty much uh, the outside of the car done and then we can move on to uh, cleaning up the subframes and the rest of all these uh, pieces over here. painted the engine base done the sills and then the rear part of the car they're all fully dried now as you can see um, it's looking good that's where it was welded you can't really notice it's too much and the engine's going to be there anyway so and there's the other side pretty good looks decent and whoa I nearly fell over and here's the sills <coughs> Uh, they're all done. Uh, shouldn't need, don't need to worry about them anymore. There is a few parts I still want to paint, like there's a chip here I'll paint, and then the fenders or the the, the wings. I still want to paint the wings uh, because there's the the, um, the run at the bottom uh, where they sit in here. I need to build to build um, some plates where or build uh, some holes here for where the connect up to. Uh, because they were rusted out. Here's the back, all painted, hard to tell because of the. It's a bit dark, but that's all done, it's colour matched. That's about it for this video. Um, got quite a bit done, and in the next one, probably we start uh, cleaning up all these, uh, cleaning up all the subframe pieces and some of these pieces, I'm not sure yet, but that'll be in the next one. Huh? next video and that's all for this video so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video